Greetings, fellow crafters. Tis I, your Hello Queen. Welcome back to my court. Welcome if you're new. I have a little tiny deed kit to do with you. Stick around and we'll get this sorted out. Okay, so I'm back and wondering what the heck I was thinking. Has anyone else ever done that? Started working on a project and then realized that you did this entirely ass backwards? Yeah, that's kind of where I am right now. So my initial thought was I was going to break all of these up into their colors and then compare them to the color things. It's like, but then I want to take the color directly and put it into my stairs. I should probably back up. Okay. So we've got a few moving parts for this deed kit because this is squares. I am working on a Heaven and Earth Designs project. Heaven and Earth Designs is a collective that takes artwork and turns it into cross stitch. And I, which I am taking the cross stitch and turning it into diamond painting. It's a whole thing. Um, so I have 88 colors. There's actually four more that are not in there. But I will dig out of here when we get there. They're in the 3000s, so I'm actually, let's dig them out now. There's not anything actually in the bottles. I'm waiting for a couple of shipments. There they are. Okay. So that's all of my Heaven and Earth designs that I'm going to want to put any of these extras that fit in there, I'm going to want to put in there. But then there is my regular spare drill storage, and then there's these, which are the non-DMC storage. And what I'm trying to do with these is if they match anything that I do know the DMC number with, I'm putting them away as that DMC number. Has to be pretty much an exact match. Very, very, I'm not allowing for much in the way of... Yeah, that looks like 3865. So for right now, I have 3865. That's what looks like that. 3865 is a ways away yet. Then I have my regular spare storage, which is in here, which I have set up. So let's tilt this up just a touch so you can see what the heck's going on here. Okay. This is my regular spare storage for most of it. Once I get into the 3000s, it spills into another box. This is most of my spare storage up to about 3078 is in here. Okay. So this is where the little tic-tac boxes came from. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it out or not. I think I'm going to open it and set it over here and just dump the empty ones in there. Okay, so red is the first one, and I classed all four of these as red. So, you may see some of these have um, DMC numbers on them. That was a guess that I made when I first started doing that, based on the color chart. No. A little too dark. Close though. Oh wow, that's really close. Nine and nine. But basically what I'm looking for is color where it's so close. Yeah, I'm gonna call that nine one nine. that it, you can't really tell the difference between them. A little too dark, definitely too dark, too bright, definitely too dark. Okay, so that one has no matches here. And this 
is very bright. That one might be it. Mm. I'm going to say not quite. Okay. So that's all the reds matched. So now I can take this. Where's 919? Nine one nine. I have no nine one nine. So since this is already nicely bagged up, I'm just gonna peel said sticker off. And grab out more stickers. Those are both 919. I need some of those. And some of those. Okay. So first I'm gonna go 919-R, which is gonna go on this bag. Dash R is for round, dash S is for square. I were to ever get okay, and then nine one nine dash s. Wait a second. I don't think nine one nine will be in here. There's not any red really in this. I think the reds I can pretty much assume are not in it. You know what they say about assuming. No, no 919. Okay. So with these, I take and bag. I open it up. I take one of these pieces of white card. And so over here, put one in there to help the bag maintain rigidity since there's not going to be a whole lot in it. And then like holy static man. Not a fan of these tic tac containers. I know some people like them. I do not. Not really my thing. Okay. So I close that. Take off the dash S sticker, maybe. There we go. And put these all in here behind the 919 card, which is in there. All that is done. Okay, 3858, I'm going to have to stick over here. But these ones should be able to stick in here. 815. My heaven earth design is almost entirely no, 815 is not in there. So that one can be put away. 817 is also not in there. 355. Five. I have a lot of 300s in this one. Not a 355 though. Don't think. No. Um, my heaven earth designs is largely grays, blues, and purples. There isn't a lot of red in it. So these ones I can pull away. So 355. Five. I have 
right here. Not a fan of these guys. Okay. Got some slightly different shading in there. I'll put that back. Two, five, five. An eight one five and eight one seven. Does not want to go in. It's hard because you can't really get a finger in there to get the last one out. There we go. Behind there. Okay. So eight one seven dash S. Let that dry on there for now. I'm using the ink dry pens, I find they take a little bit of dry time. Not a ton, but a little bit. Otherwise you end up smudging them. on these labels at least. In the end. And I'm just gonna knock everything over. Okay. Yeah, still smudged a little bit, but eight one seven. Okay, 310. I don't have 310 in the other painting. I don't think I do. No, and no. Okay. So, 310, for those of you who are less initiated, probably one of the first colors you learn is square. Right, is square. Is black. Wow. <laughs> this is the square bag that I have for 310. <laughs> 310 is black, pure, unadulterated black. There are some other colors that you're going to see in here that look like black, particularly 939, 823, but 310 is straight black, and you can tell that when you get the next to other colors that look, they're supposed to be black, you can tell that there's a different cast to them. I haven't emptied my trash. Didn't have much trash on this one because it was a little tiny guy. We'll just stick that in there. Add more to that. Okay. 
3865. That's going to go over there because I'm not ready to get that box out yet. Okay. So that's the red stem. Uh, next one up is brown. This one's kind of a brown. I'll check for it. I'm gonna check it with the gold, with the yellows too. That one's a little too light. Too dark. Too dark. Too dark. That looks pink. That definitely looks pink. I don't think that should be in there. Nope. Mm, too dark. Okay. There's a couple that are close, but none of them I would say is an exact match, so I'm going to leave that there. And I'm going to stick this back over with the yellows because I think it might actually show up in the yellows. And I think that's more of a pink. That's actually very close to that. Grays. I have a vastness of grays. Lots of grays. and lots of grays. Okay. Too light. Too dark. Too light. Too dark. Too blue. Yep, I would call that a match. So we are 414. And I'm almost dead certain that 414 is in here. 414. That's going to go in with my Heaven Earth Designs. When I run low, my Heaven Earth Designs keeps very close track of how many stitches or drills I've placed. So it will tell me when I, when I no longer need to place drills. So 414. And round. Come on, here we go. Come on. Last drill out of the bag. Let's go. So for right now, I don't have an immediate need for my rounds. But I am concerned doing the next Heaven Earth Designs to do it in a light color, which will allow me to do it in rounds. Because the problem with rounds is you see the color on the canvas between the rounds which you don't so much on a square. They're supposed to fit fairly close together. So if you're doing rounds on a blank canvas, you're gonna see glaring white right through it. 
which will be less noticeable in a heaven earth design that has a lighter background. Okay, so that is almost a gray white. Those are close. That one's a fairly dark one. That I would say is too dark. Okay, I'll call that one. It's five three five. Five three five. Is not in my head. I have signs. No, it's not. Five three five. I have none of. Okay. Square, round, and different. None of. Five three five dash R, which I'll just stick on there. Hopefully empty. Round, five three five square. I'm gonna need another box. Okay. All right. Not dark enough. Six million is close. Yep, I'm gonna call that one six nine. Yeah, because one six nine exists in my heavy metal signs. One sixty, one six two. Yep, so one six nine. Four, one, six, six, four, six, eight, one, six, nine. Nope. Another one I have none of. Well, I'm filling out some colors, that's for sure.
this is one nice thing that I can stick like the whole thing in. I can do this with the round pots too. And they're not such a pain to get in and out of. All right. Passive maintenance is required. Okay, so 169 is where? 169 round. Stick those in my storage, and away we bob. Okay. Got a few more grays over here to compare. Ooh, that's really close. Oh, hold on, that's closer yet. Mm, that's a little too light. don't have oh, no, I had decided that was 159 so I'm going to continue deciding that's 159 159 which I do not have so, 159-R. that in there. Okay. Let's go in. That goes back in there. All is hunky-dory. I've got a few more grays to check. Nope. Definitely not. Uh, nope. Grace. That's a blue. I'm gonna set that aside and put it in with the blues. These are grays though. Not quite. Nope. Not quite. Nope and nope. It's a little too light. Too blue. That's a little too blue. Actually, my stickers are going to go with the blue. That's in the same spectrum, but I would say this is a slightly different color. None of the others are coming close. Oh wow. That's really dang close. Six one. Okay, one, six, one. 
six one. Yeah, those are all the same color. Just jumping everywhere. Yeah, I don't have any symbols on Heaven and Earth Designs because I'm going by the DMC number for the things. Like, there are symbols, but the, since the symbols aren't actually on the canvas, I have to look at the DMC number anyway, so I just go for the DMC number. So, one, six, one. One six one square, but not round. Okay, so I'm out of grays to compare to, so now I gotta go 415. Which I know also know I have in here. So let's put away what two four one five I have. Three one Three two. That's a three thousand. You can just leave that. Okay. Three seven nine nine. We'll leave that one too. go there. Next up is blue. Okay. 
these are numbering for blues. None of these are even anywhere close. So, put the blues away. And then we'll put the blues away. So, three, seven, five, six, that one comes over there. Seven seven five. Is not in here. Seven seven five. In the square. I think this was in the original ice castle design, but the Heaven and Earth design doesn't have it, so I had a whole ton of extras of seven seven five because it no longer appears. Because I had all these ones that were for Ice Castle to do. That's why I had such a full bag of them. Come on. There's a couple of colors that were in the drills. 5200's a big one. 775's a big one. There were there's lots of them, but I didn't really need them for the final product, so here we are. Okay, so I can check those over there. I will be glue them later. So the last two I have is 823 and 939. I know both of them are in here. 823. I cannot remember off the top of my head. One was in the painting, but not as much as... But I didn't have it as many. From the initial... Ice Castle. Like, I think I required like two or three thousand. I had like eight hundred. And the other one didn't appear at all. However, I have not ordered, nor do I plan to order any of them because 939 and 823 are just so ubiquitous in the paintings that I do that I know I will come up with some. And if I guess wrong, I can always order them later. But I don't think... But they're on my sort of uh, watch warily and be, be careful because I probably don't need these, but just in case. But... Uh, I ordered a whole bunch of drills from a company called Grace Hill. The lady who runs it, or at least is, is doing the outreach for, the, for that, has been very forthcoming with information, has come, contacted me several times, keeping me informed. Um, I guess they've had a little bit of trouble getting in some of their stock, so they did, couldn't get my stuff in right away. But she said, regardless of whether it all comes in, this was Wednesday, I think. So whether, regardless of whether it all comes in through the last couple of days, it will your order will go out. It's mostly together, and it will go out on Thursday. It, it will go out on Monday, which is tomorrow. These are all too pale. Oops. No, not quite. So eight, three, four, and four, four, five. 
or nope, four, four, five, and square. So she says there are some things missing, and she was hopeful that they would come in either Thursday or Friday. If not, they're going to mail what they have set up, they have already gathered up for me on Monday, and there will be a supplemental delivery of the other ones when when she has it, when she's able to lay hands on them. She didn't want to hold any further than that. I'm like, that's fine. Appreciate you keeping me up to date. I kind of, I don't think they were really ready for orders yet. They, they had the website up, but they're still kind of uh, new. It's called Grace Hill, I think. She had said something about setting up a, a drill buying thing in Canada and I think was still in the process of setting it up but because people were asking about it she set up a website and said yeah you can order um, bear with us though so Monday they should ship out which means I should have it by the end of the week next week four, four, five. Eight three four. Oh, and this eight three four was a saga and a half. I'll tell you. Yeah, eight three four is not in there, which shouldn't surprise me. Um, when I unbox this. Instead of having a bag of 834, they had a bag of 824, which is like a teal color. So I contacted Home Fun and they said, yep, no problem. We'll go ahead and send you out the rate drills. That was our part. We'll fix it. No problem. I'm like, all right. And I finally do get the drills. All right. Well, it's a Christmas thing, so I'm not exactly in a hurry. I finally do get the drills and I remember as I was walking back from the post, from my post box, the little voice in, the little sane voice in my head that says, yeah, you should make sure you put those away so you don't misplace them. Did I listen to the little voice? Of course I didn't. And I think it's been sucked into the vortex of void that is my craft room. Now that I've actually finished this painting, I will probably find it, but I didn't have it to work on. So I, I reached out to the Got Diamonds community, Got Diamonds Canada, and somebody very graciously sent me a baggie in a Christmas card, no less, which is rather sweet of them. So. So I did end up with enough to finish my painting. Okay. Ken has pinks. Pink. And lots of pinks. None of these look really all that close to the 223 that I have over there. So No, no two, two, three in there. So now I need to find it here. Two, two, 
Three. Nada. I don't have any more inserts. Alrighty. No, I don't have any more. I don't have any more. Green. I don't have any greens. Purple. I was classing this one size four as purple. You know, I think technically it's called a dark red. It looks purple to me. Nothing close. So, one by four. No. I have enough time to actually get it around one by four, which is when I have a lot of. One by four. And square. That you could land on my lap. Get in there. And I'm not going to kit up another small project right away. At least, not kit up one for me. The paintings I'm working on now aren't so ginormous that I can't take them upstairs. Kind of a necessity when I was working on a uh, festive, festive fireplace because that thing was 70 by 90. That was not moving easily. Purple. Orange. too red. It's kind of too yellow. Okay, I don't have anything that's close. Start putting these ones away. So seven to nine. Seven to nine. 
There's nothing there. Although these are semicolors, so that's unlikely. Nope. As you said, it's, those ones jump 605 to 747, and then 612 to 746. So it's not in there. I didn't think so. It didn't go with the tones of the painting. But every once in a while, one will surprise you. So. That's the way it goes. Seven, two, three. Seven, two, eight. Three, zero. Seven, two, eight. Seven, four, three. Four, two. Four, three, I have a round, but no square. There are some. No, seven four three squared. Nine hundred. I got nothing under nine hundred. Okay. These bags, I think, are the ones I got from Craftably to do with one of the kits, but I don't generally do my kits in the baggies anyway, so they became my catch-all. I guess they normally offer them in baggies, but they couldn't for this for some reason. For some newer ones, they give you a, a raft of baggies to go with to make up for that. And I appreciate that if that's the, that's the kind of customer service they want to do, then that's great. But for me, it's just, hey, extra baggies. Not complaining. Still have yet to do either of my craft paintings. I'm too busy with collabs. I want to. Oh boy, do I want to.
in round, no square. Lots of new colors tonight. some problems you know push it out Done for this box. Three seven five six. Seven nine nine. Three seven. No, I have to go into the pen. Seven five eight. Three seven. Seven six five three eight six five rather is this one here.
Okay, so let's get down the last box. This box has my diamond dots in it as well as my special drills, but one row is the last of the DMC numbers. So I'm going to need a 3799. square. Not that there's a lot in here. don't have a card for 38858, although I know I have stickers set up for cards, so I'm going to pause a second because I can locate those and make a new sticker card for it. So one minute. 